Hey everyone, Dorn here out of London, giving you the latest on what's happening in the New Year ecosystem. This is New Year Bytes. First up on the docket, the meta build deadline is coming up on November 21st. Get your projects in, there's still time to submit, and there's also $1 million in prizes for this hackathon. Check out the link in the description below to sign up and submit your project day. So next up, we have information on the near developer governance. This essentially combines the community groups and the work groups to achieve quality and flexibility and in innovation in the Web3 space, while utilizing technology found in a DAO to decide on asset distribution. In the developer governance, we have a variety of community groups which are specialized in self-organized communities. Today, we have community groups for protocols, wallets, indexers, and UA. Two community groups I think would expect you guys would be the Near Python community group, since I know you guys have been wanting to include Python in the Near ecosystem for a long time, um, and also uh, the uh, Near Zero Knowledge community working group, which has their first community call on the 15th at 4 p.m. UTC. If you'd like to learn more about the Near developer governance, then please follow the link in the description below. So next up, we have the Near Protocol Roadmap. On Monday, Pagoda presented the, up the updated technical roadmap for Near Protocol presenting all experience and core upgrades coming in 2023 and 2024. If you didn't know, Pagoda is the core contributor to the protocol. The team presented two roadmaps, the first being the upgrade roadmap with upgrades oriented to improving the usability of the protocol. For example, we have the introduction of the new meta transaction um, standard, which will enable decentralized applications to pay for the transaction fees on behalf of the users. And then we also have a new SECP256R1 key support featuring a zero balance account creation. These two features are aimed at onboarding users with a need to pay for an account, which is pretty amazing. The second roadmap is the Core Protocol Upgrades roadmap, which lays out the road to Nightshade, dynamic resharding, and other key foundational improvements to the protocol. According to the Protocol Roadmap, we have started the development of the second phase of the sharding on Nightshade. The second phase will eliminate the need for any validator to track every shard. Once this step has been completed, both the state and processing will be fully sharded, lowering the hardware requirements of a fully functioning block producer on Near. This is expected to be released in the late summer of 2023, in other words, uh, from Q3 to Q4. For a look into the full roadmap and a breakdown of what each stage and feature can enable, please check out the blog in the link in the description. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, hello from London. I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.